Well, we, we made some uh, small changes. We changed the target group. Farzana worked with uh, adolescents who were not proficient in the language of instruction, but we involved some young people who, were, who had some, a migratory background, but who were born and raised in Italy, so they had very good uh, linguistic skills in Italian. That was the first difference. And then we um, also expanded the focus of the activities. Uh, Farzana worked exclusively on poetry, but we expanded this narrow focus and we talked about not just a written mode of expression, but we also included uh, audiovisual uh, modes of expression. So students were also doing some videos, doing some podcasts, illustrating their poems, so various ways of expressing emotions and ideas. One of the challenges was this emotional uh, strength of the activity. So several students were getting quite emotional and they were crying in the classroom. This was difficult. Uh, and then uh, I think it was at times difficult to deal with institutional constraints. Uh, so teachers had a very tight schedule uh, and they also needed to evaluate students in some way. So we had to find uh, to negotiate with teachers uh, our presence in the field and the schedule and some aspects of the activity. So I think this was also challenging. But I think it was quite satisfying to see how also adults and teachers were eager to participate in the activities. They took a piece of paper and they started writing poems and short stories in order to express themselves. So this was uh, rewarding. It was also interesting to see how adults who were maybe 40, 50 years old, they were working together with students in order to express themselves.